Hello, love. Welcome home to Eden, where the feminine divine is pleasured by you, you, you. Ooh. <laughs> so some guys, um, you know, they, they have to work up to being able to go down on a woman. They need to feel really intimate with her and close, and she, her too. She needs to trust him a lot. So how is he going to really, really bring her ecstatic pleasure um, besides his cock, the um, wonderful thing he does? How is he going to warm her up for his cock if he doesn't want to go down yet? So let's talk about hands. Okay, I knew a man who uh, actually had a um, spiritual practice as a DACA. DACA in, in his world meant that he had 23 women, <laughs> that he was um, the pleasure master, the, the sexual healer for. He never fucked any of them. Um, he didn't kiss really with any of them because he had three women that were his intimate partners that he did everything with. Um, the rest were really, he was there for them. He kept his clothes on and he did everything with his hands. So there's so much you can do with your hands for a woman's uh, body and her whole body, but especially her vulva, you have 10 fingers, one mouth, one tongue, one cock, but 10 fingers, okay? So if you think of rhythm, pace, slow pace, slipping, sliding, massaging, the whole outer vulva uh, area is, is going to be engorging, not just, so you don't want to just think of the clitoris, Taurus, like little circles with your fingers would be good, but you know, that's such a delicate area that it's great if you well, warm up her whole body. I really suggest dancing. Partner dancing is the greatest way to get women hot for you. It is. <laughs> and, and massage all over her and, and like saying amazing things about her body as you touch her arms or her chest or her boobs or whatever like you're 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 getting her to that place where she's sweating and she's encouraging <laughs> just from your touch and the sound of your voice and the things you're saying affirming her beauty affirming your love for her your reverence for her okay now this, what happens is after a while, the woman's body starts to draw you in. She's, she, instead of pushing you away or being brittle or, or awkward, she starts to make sounds and motions and she's drawing in your hands. Okay, now if you're a guy who has smell sensitivity, even though um, it's the greatest thing to understand woman's smell as, as a huge aphrodisiac and, and the guy who gets into that cannibalistic state where he's totally like going crazy is the one who's going to bring her the most <laughs> pleasure in her lifetime. But not all guys uh, give in, surrender that far to the total, total um, great love of woman. <laughs> So your hands, your hands can take the place of, of that. If you're afraid like that, that you have herpes or that she does or something and then you, that's why you don't want to be intimate, um, use your hands. And, and, and remember that softness is a huge deal. Like you don't want to go, the whole idea of having to penetrate to bring her pleasure, really please wait for that. Make her long for that. Make her uh, 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 tease her so that she's just like kneading <laughs> your cock, you know, like, um, but in the whole warming up, I really suggest you only put your fingers in a tiny bit, little slipping and sliding, and the rest is massaging her vulva area, her lips, her legs, her clitoris, and um, all of this, uh, all of this changes her inner chamber of her, her vagina, uh, um, where it becomes so plush and cushy inside as she engorges, because you know women have as much erectile tissue as men on the inside and the outside of their body. Well, what happens is it will feel smaller when you enter her in a way because she's plumped up like a pillow around you, she will also have, you know, quadruple the amount of sensation because of that. She can feel you more 
and those pillows are are, are um, they're more elastic they're more slippery they're more so for her everything goes from awkward discomfort or or okay just just the okay feeling of oh yeah this is great you know we're fucking and and and, and she's more into the whole idea of it than the feeling of it but when it gets into her body where the joy and the pleasure is just full body for her now she's feeling you on a whole different level and this actually starts to break open her her spirit joy yeah and you might have she might be in uncontrollable laughter <laughs> but also be prepared that because women have a lot of pain stored in the in the vagina of, of old memories of traumas it can happen that as you're pleasuring her, she starts to cry or, or get upset or angry or shout. And, and don't take that as a bad thing, okay? Because that is showing that you are doing a great job. You're, you're helping her release. And she needs to be prepared too for that. that, that, that so she's grateful for the whole uh, adventure you're taking her on. Okay, um, I think that's it. Yeah, how to pleasure a woman with your hands. Um, <laughs> it's a start anyway, right? Ooh, you're going to have so much fun. This guy, 23 women. Can you believe it? They're all, most of them were like uh, over 30 and 40 and 50, 60, 70. <laughs> They're all women who are really, really ready to experience their full-on pleasure and orgasmic capacity. And that's the truth about us women. The older we get, we have more and more capacity for pleasure. We just shut down because we're not being, we're not being touched, you know, with the guy's hands and mouth and kisses, not enough kisses. And so with the, the being expected to always have orgasms through fucking, um, through penetration, we, we uh, over time, it's, it's less and less likely because we've gotten more and more out of touch with our own pleasure as we have not been given what we need. So get to it. Get to it, baby. All right.